So, good morning and welcome back. It's been quite some time, almost more than six months, that uh, we have made any videos because COVID had been taking its toll on if all of us and uh, things have been a little topsy-turvy. So today what I'm going to uh, share with you in this video, it might come as something very new, very mysterious or very fancy to some of you. But uh, let me tell you what I'm going to show you today is something that's been there for uh, almost eight to nine years, since 2012 actually. This capability, what I'm going to use today, has been there. Now, many of you, many of you are using the tool MarkEdit, mostly to convert data exported as a Microsoft Excel format into Mark 21 compatible records. And that is where most people's use of Mark 21 kind of begins, uh, sorry, uh, Mark Edit kind of begins and ends. But that's not where it, that is very, very much the tip of the iceberg. And this is something we could do now. Instead of building up the mystery, let us, uh, uh, dive into it okay so this is the shamiloni mohabiddalai library the staff client uh, koha staff client uh, so ujjal he asked for a bit of help he wants to generate a list of titles books he has in his library currently as entered into koha and he wants them sorted by call number Okay. Now, when this report was generated, as you can see, this 338 dot uh, something, then 336, the 363, fine. Okay. So, he was expecting something different. Like, what was he expecting? Uh, then after 100, you see 900. Okay. Then... After uh, here, eight seven eight ninety one, and then immediately there is a three twenty, and there's a five sixty six. Which, if you scroll down a bit further, you begin to now see that this sorts uh, the sorting is coming into place. So from point four four two. 422, 425, okay, it's, it's becoming in the alphabetic uh, ASCII sort. So, uh, things starts falling into place. So, why is the first few uh, lines not in that particular order? The reason is not far to look. As you can see, if you just open up just one of these records. So, let's open this up. And we'll see immediately why it is not uh, showing us in the right fashion. So we'll go into edit. And uh, we are going after $082 A. There you see. There is a space. And this space is what is messing up our sort order. Okay. So obviously these records which are not in the proper order have a space embedded in front of the class number and this is what we need to remove so for this what we did was we added a small report which uh, basically I'll just show you the SQL code which basically does nothing other than let me zoom it up a bit, zoom it up a bit so that it's easier to see for everybody yeah so all we look for is that where 082, uh, the first 082 field with the subfield A, which is what we are after. And the first position, the first character is a blank space. 
So we are looking for records with at least one blank space before the class number. Okay. So when we do that, let's again go back to its original size. And uh, let's hide this uh, SQL. So we have how many? We have 26 records, right? 26 records. So these records are the ones which are creating a problem for us. Okay. Now you might think we can do a batch modification. Now from my limited understanding of Koha's batch modification tool, this is something we probably cannot yet do. And if you can do, then please feel free to point it out and teach me how to do it but uh, right now i don't know how to do it um, so because we'll have to use a regular expression and uh, match the first space or spaces as a group and then replace that group okay so so far things are in koha now this is where things are going to get interesting we have marked it here this is pretty much the latest version of market it again if, now market it has some has something called ILS integration since 2012 okay this fantastic uh, tool by professor Teddy Reese so if you click on settings as you can see as I said ILS integration now this has a support for quite a few ILSs now Koha was the first one that uh, Teddy implemented we can to set it up just ignore this profile this is something I'm not sure why it's hanging in there because we haven't defined it yet I mean I defined then I deleted but it's still holding some of that so anyway so I'm going to define uh, SML for Shaminal library type yeah as I said it's multiple so it's not Alma it's Koha and here is where things get interesting HTTPS um, staff what I do city.co.in that is what you can see here the same thing and my super librarian login I might not have used a super librarian login I might have used a cataloger login but I'm just going to stick with the super librarian login and give my super librarian password okay let me see if I right now yeah, use say 1350 SRU yes uh, selected none select server settings this is interesting we're going to create a new one now nah, okay I'm going to say a new Z1350 and we're going to call it let's say Ujols okay it's a name you can give anything doesn't really matter now here what we do is shamilani hyphen staff dot l to c two dot co dot in database is biblios see what i haven't shared with you so far is that we have uh, enable the Z1350 service the server in this particular Koha instance and we are running it from port 2100 the database of cases biblios the syntax is mark 21 okay and uh, nothing else so show databases save and we'll say we just we need to select it the moment we say selected that uh, pop-up closed and here which would jobs and we're going to save this okay so this is our and we'll save it select uh, selected profile is sml okay now right settings been saved this is where things get even more interesting as i will hopefully be able to show you now this is uh, this mark editor is something all of you are familiar with if you're um, handling data the new thing that you see here is koha search update create process settings okay now let's see how this works let me minimize this we need to 
get this data from Koha into Ma. Now there are different options. You can search by all of these, uh, but we will go by record number. Record number is nothing but your PBO number. Okay. So query one. Okay. I want the next one too. So I am going to do it and see search. Okay. So as you can see, one thing that didn't happen. Moment I selected that the previous one went out. So let's try this again like this. And uh, this. So this is not or. So this or this or this is what we can do. Uh, let's see. Think we can do it more than two so let's not try something I think we can I think we can uh, yes I think we can I mean I forgot something okay so we're going to go uh, search and there's a bat search option okay now bat search option what we'll do is we'll just copy this entire list control C then open notepad paste it all of them yeah we have 26 fine and we call them uh, let's call them something like virtual so you know it's the same thing these files which all the text is in my documents folder so let's go here and select the file mm, documents right which will select it it's already selected record number so we don't have to search anything and we do a search would you like the batch results selected directly into market it um, why not sure so it's searching found searching found searching found searching found as you can see total results 26 we have 26 we have 26 and 26 okay so and uh, we can close this if you so we'll shift here and we can see field count yeah 26 no issues we have 26 uh, 082 with uh, the class numbers 26 class numbers and as we can see from here yes there is a space um, there is no space this we can't do anything this is not an error this is there's no class number actually so that's why it was there okay but again here yes there is space there is space so after dollar a there is a space so this is what we need to get rid of okay so let's do a simple regular expression find and replace let's see yeah we already have it set and let me quickly explain to you how this works this is uh, caret caret means the start of the line so we are asking the regular expression to match the first group as from the start of the line hyphen uh, sorry uh, equal sign 0 2 then two spaces and then the two slashes which are meta quoted and then dollar a match this as the first group so basically this is supposed to match this part let me highlight it here so that you can understand so the first group is supposed to match this okay uh, not the yeah sorry about that yeah this is what the first group is supposed to match this is the second group okay this means uh, 
a single space it can be one or multiple space so this should match this and then whatever rest is this third group okay now let's say use regular expression find all okay 16 times this is so out of the 26 16 are those cases the rest have some other problem and we can see here here that all there is blank spaces right you can see there are blank spaces so 16 of this are there so we can edit the query and go to find and replace this is what we need to do we need to keep the first group intact and the third group intact just remove the second group so all we need to do is dollar call it as dollar a and dollar three dollar one and dollar three use regular expression and say sorry about that replace all and we see 60 modifications made you can see the space is gone the space is gone uh, there was none here and then yeah space gone space gone okay now here is the fun part update and create it asks us default bibliographic control number is set as do you want to use this settings yes we want do you uh, should item data be updated if present within the records where we are not uh, messing with the item data so we said no if you did you could say yes now we wait connects to the database online on the cloud and there it goes one record at a time changing them okay so this is the most interesting part so it's going on it's a little slow it's not a very fast process keep in mind that for each record it's connecting over the internet into a, under the cloud server fetching the looking up the record then updating the updating the record saving the record and then moving to the next record from this uh, market it editor it's almost done there were 16 this is 14 to the 15th one going up and there is the 16th and that's it we uh, okay no it's actually process going through all the 26 so it will take a little longer yeah it will take a little longer but we are almost there and all the noise that you can hear in the background that is probably some political rally i'm sure we must have something coming up something or the other coming up so yeah so that's done now let's see what that has done to our uh, yes processing record 26 fine records process 26 so all 26 were touched and updated let's see whether it has actually changed, made any changes so this was showing us rec 26 records so if we run this report again should it return anything okay it does return something but for some reason these are the ones the 10 that were not touched okay so as you can see we, we need to uh, investigate why exactly that that happened but aside from that what we just showed you is how you can use your koha with mark edit using the z350 integration ils integration and do a batch edit of your data okay so that's the interesting thing I wanted to share this Sunday. I wish uh, it was under more happier circumstances because my mother had to be admitted early this morning to the hospital. But uh, I, pro I had promised a few people that, that I would be doing it today. So here goes. Hope you've enjoyed the show. And if you have queries, just let me know. Okay. Take care. Have a, have a wonderful day. Ciao.